Hey what's up guys, it's Will for GSM Arena. The Samsung Galaxy A8 2018 has just been announced, and we have our hands on one. Don't let the name fool you, it's the successor to 2017's Galaxy A5. And though it's a mid-ranger, a lot of features are actually close to the S series. The front and back are glass with an aluminum frame, similar to what we're used to from Samsung this year. The 5.6 inch AMOLED display is curved, but it's not as much as what you see on the Galaxy S8. It has a 1080p resolution and a tall 18.5x9 aspect ratio. This is the first Samsung phone with dual front facing cameras, one at 16 megapixels and the other at 8 megapixels, with an f1.9 aperture. This should up the selfie game and allow for some good selfie portraits. The main camera is a single one at 16 megapixels, with an f1.7 aperture brighter than last year's. If the A5 is any indicator, quality on the A8 should be pretty good for both still images and 1080p videos. Directly beneath the camera, there's a rear mounted fingerprint reader. It's really easy to reach, unlike on some of Samsung's other phones. The A8 2018 has full IP68 certification, so there's no problem with water or even snow. There's a USB Type-C port at the bottom, as well as a 3.5mm headphone jack. If you're not into headphones, the speaker is mounted on the side, just like on the A5. Inside this phone is an Octa-Core Exynos 7885 chipset. It's the first time we've seen this chipset, so we look forward to testing it out. The A8 runs Android 7.1.1 Nougat with Samsung UX. It should be just about the same software-wise as the Note 8. There is no dedicated Bixby button, but the virtual assistant is still easy to access. The internal memory comes at either 32 or 64 gigs, and it is expandable. There's a 3000 mAh battery just like last year's model. Hopefully it has the same great battery endurance too. When your battery does get low, you'll be able to bring it up real quick thanks to fast charging. The Galaxy A8 2018 should be launching in January, with a rumored price tag of around 500 euros, which is actually out of mid-range territory, so we hope it's not true. Stay tuned for a full review, and see you next time.